Hi everyone, today I am going to be doing a review of Chasing Lucky by Jen Bennett. I thought I would try and go back to the roots of my YouTube channel, which was posting a lot of dedicated review videos. I used to post these all the time when I first started my channel, as in I would like post multiple in a row. Now I'm lucky if I post two review videos within the same year, so I thought we would try and go back to doing some dedicated review videos, and I read the this book recently and spoiler alert I really loved this book so I thought we would kick it off with a book that I really enjoyed. This is going to be spoiler free so whether you have read this book or not you can still watch this video. So Chasing Lucky by Jen Bennett is a YA contemporary romance novel. In it we follow our main character called Josie and she has just moved back with her mom to her hometown that she grew up in until she was about 12 years old when her and her mother abruptly left the town. And and she ends up having a run-in with her childhood best friend called Lucky. And Lucky has definitely changed since the last time Josie has seen him. He is very much a bad boy now. He has a very bad reputation in the town. And he's pretty cold towards Josie because the last time she saw him was actually when he was very badly burned in a fire. And she wasn't able to say goodbye to him before her and her mother skipped town. And Lucky hasn't forgotten this. So he's very cold towards her until one day at a party Josie finds herself in some big trouble as in at the police station kind of trouble but Lucky ends up taking all of the blame for her and she's not really sure why. So that is the setup to this book. If you don't know I've read three other Jen Bennett books and I've really enjoyed all of them but I think this one has to be my favorite. Even when I was just halfway through reading the book I had gotten it from the library and halfway through I knew this was one that I had to have for my collection so I ordered a copy of it without even finishing reading the book. And this has also officially made Jen Bennett not only one of my favorite authors, but an autobi author at this point. My favorite thing about this book by far was the romance, and I know I've actually mentioned in a video recently that I feel like a lot of the YA romance books that I've been reading have really been lacking in the romance department, but this book does not do that at all. From the very first chapter, you already have this romantic tension between these two characters. Like, you can feel it straight from the start. And as you can probably tell from the synopsis, it definitely falls into the best friends to lovers trope. But I would even say it has like a hint of enemies to lovers to it also because we have these two characters that clearly have some unresolved issues. And so it causes that same sort of tension that you get in an enemies to lovers story. But it's not quite the same, but it still has like the same vibe to it. So I think if you like either of those tropes, you would really enjoy this book. I also thought that I was like over having bookish boyfriends. Like I've outgrown that phase of my life now, but I have to say Lucky was one of the most interesting slash attractive love interests I've read about lately. So yeah. I very much enjoyed his character. One thing I love about Jen Bennett's books, and even more specifically this one, is that even though they have this light contemporary romance feel to them, they often touch on heavier topics. For instance, in this book we deal with a lot of family issues in Josie's family, whether that is between Josie and her mom and having this kind of wall between them where they feel like they can't really be open with each other, or even between Josie's mom and Josie's grandmother, as well as Josie's cousin is is in and out of an abusive relationship and Josie also has to deal a lot in this book with gossip around the town and her school about her mom being someone who sleeps around with a lot of guys. And there are a couple of trigger warnings for this book which I'm actually going to leave them in the description box because I don't know if some of them would technically be considered like spoilers. I'm obviously not going to mention any characters by name but there are some very specific kind of things that happen in this book that I want to give trigger warnings for. So check the description box if you are sensitive to things like that and you just want to be sure before picking this book up. As far as the writing goes, obviously since this is my fourth Jen Bennett book, I really love her writing. I think it flows really easily and I think because of her writing that is how she's able to get a book that deals with some heavier topics but still keeps this like light contemporary feel to it. So I think that balance really comes about because of her writing. I also think she is exceptionally good at writing dialogue and more specifically banter because some of the things between 
not even just a love interest, but between Josie and her cousin or different members of her family or even the person in this book that she doesn't like. Like, the banter in this book is so good. I have often kind of compared Jen Bennett to Casey West, which they by far are now my two favorite contemporary authors. But while Casey West, and like, don't get me wrong, obviously she's one of my favorites. I love her books. But she definitely has more of the younger YA side of contemporary where her books are very clean. Um, there's no, like, sex or swearing or anything like that and even though they do deal with some heavy topics also I would say this one goes a little bit further than that and in this book you are gonna find things like heavier language and some sex scenes nothing explicit by any means but it is something that is featured in all of her novels that I've read so far so I would definitely recommend this to anybody that enjoys YA contemporary romance and even more specifically if you are a fan of Casey West but maybe you want to pick up something that is slightly more mature but isn't like a new adult book I would totally recommend picking up any of Jen Bennett's books but especially this one because I thought it was exceptionally good. So I know this video is probably kind of short but I wanted to do a dedicated video for this book because I just enjoyed it so much. It's definitely the perfect spring and summer read so if you have read this book also let me know in the comments I'd love to discuss it with you. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Samson.